Agricultural Bank of Namibia's Agri-Advisory Services Division offers training to farmers and bank clients in various farming enterprises in all 14 regions of Namibia through face-to-face -face sessions. The AgriLearn online platform will share production content on various agriculture farming enterprises to build the knowledge of farmers from all walks of life. Join us as we embark on this virtual journey towards sustainable farming as we zoom into the basics of crop and horticulture production. Good day farmers, my name is Heng Sai Sai. I'm the technical advisor for crops and poultry within AgriBank's Agri-Advisory Services Division. We are going to talk about conservation agriculture and how it can be applied in crop farming. So remember, when you are growing crops, you will always have soil preparation which disturbs the soil and you lose the need to ensure that when you grow a seed, that specific seed grows within that prepared depth. But when the soil is turned, for example, using digging fork, you work a, a substance amount of soil by turning it and you expose it to sunlight. So there are certain practices that are aimed at ensuring that you conserve as much moisture in the soil as possible and conservation agriculture is one of those principles. It has three main components or principles that it's focusing on. The first one is minimum soil disturbance. The second one is um, soil uh, cover which should be permanent during the growing and after growing period and you have crop rotation whereby you have to do sequencing of changing the types of crops you are growing on that piece of land based on their nutritional requirements and needs so if i take this digging fork and i have identified this piece of land as the area that i want to work the moment i work this piece of soil by turning it with a digging fork you will see that i'm exposing too much of the surface to direct sunlight and if I grow my crops here, all this soil which is containing moisture, you will see that it loses some of that moisture because sunlight will start evaporating most of the water that is contained in this soil. So if I want to grow crops using conservation agriculture, I don't turn the whole area, but I just focus on disturbing the area in which I'm going to grow my seed. So if the focus, let's say, for example, is just to grow some spinach seeds, I can use as a stick that I'm using for planting just to open that specific piece of soil and then I put my seed inside there. In so doing, I disturb only a small piece of the soil and then not a lot of moisture will be lost. So I'll go, I put my seeds in there and then I cover this part. In so doing, this is the only piece of soil that I've disturbed in comparison to this entire area that I've disturbed with a digging fork. The second principle is permanent soil cover. So when you are growing crops, it's, it's best to ensure that you have at least a good composition of permanent cover to ensure that if this surface heats up, not a lot of water should be lost. So you protect this surface by putting mulching materials. So after growing your seeds, you can spread grass on this surface to ensure that after irrigating, this surface is cooled by the cover that you have here and then it doesn't heat up and not a lot of water is lost through evaporation. So that is the second principle of conservation agriculture. The last principle is crop rotation. Remember, certain crops take up too much water and too much nutrients from the soil. So you will have to grow other crops that can bring back the nutrients in the soil. For instance, if I'm growing mahangu and maize, they are heavy feeders of nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, and they take up a lot of water. So after harvesting my desired crops, I must now change the type of crop I'm growing there. If I bring in groundnuts and beans, they use less water, and they have the ability to add a lot of nitrogen in that piece of soil, and then that prevents the, uh, the depletion of nutrients from the soil. So I have conservation in terms of the soil fertility status by bringing in back the nitrogen that was taken up by most of the crops. So you must implement these specific uh, principles over a long period of time and that can sustain your soil and that helps you as a crop farmer to sustain your business. That's it for now. Join us next time for more valuable insights. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to avoid missing out on new content. Also, follow us on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram pages for more content. Thank you.